continued its explosive performance. Curtis Sifford had 20 carries for 114 yards. Sifford tied a school record with four rushing touchdowns in the game. Josh Dolben had five catches for 122 yards. And Brian Finneran added two touchdowns to his growing total. The defense again came up with big plays in the second half, and Villanova was 10-0. Tally and his number one cats had one more showdown to finish their incredible dream season. The final regular season game against Northeastern University had arrived, and the 1997 Wildcat football team stood on the brink of immortality. Before them, the chance to become the first unbeaten, untied football team in over 100 years of Villanova football. At stake, retention of their number one national ranking and sole possession of the Atlantic 10 Conference Championship. We can't be a good football team today. We have to be a great football team. We haven't done that in about five games. What do you say we step it up a notch? Let's kick it up a notch today. This game today is not about Lambert Trophy, not about number one, not about the 810 Championship, not about any of that. It's about immortality. You guys. Legendary! Let's go, baby! Let's go! This game was a wild ride. The Villanova offense continued to play well and were able to put points on the board. But the Cats were unable to shake the stubborn Huskies. Villanova found themselves down by nine points with just under 12 minutes remaining in the game. What followed may be one of the amazing comebacks that Nova football fans have ever seen. First and goal on the five-yard line. High formation. They're going to fake. They're looking for the fade. No, they throw right side wide open. Diving catch. Jace Trapoli. He is in for a bullet over touchdown. Jace Trapoli's first touchdown catch of his career. His 16th reception of the season. Picks up Smith on the slot. Murphy back to throw on a five-step drop. Throws over the middle. Could be intercepted. Get to his own. Pick off. No blitz shown. Bowden dropping. Pressure looking. Down the middle. Great catch. Brian Finneran holds on. First down. 13 yard line, his 13th catch of the day. Brian Ferrin in the slot, Bowden back to throw, he's under pressure. He throws into the end zone, Dolben, left side, touchdown! Josh Dolben from Chris Bowden and the Wildcats have taken the lead. The Cats scored 23 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Villanova played with the hearts of champions on both sides of the ball. They were not going to be denied their place in Wildcat football history. This team never quit. With this victory, Coach Andy Talley had led his 1997 Cats to a perfect season. The first perfect season in the history of Villanova football. The Wildcats had sole possession of the Atlantic 10 championship. And Villanova finished the regular season as the number one ranked team in the nation. Somewhere, someplace in your life, you're going to be down. Remember this. Remember what happened here today. Because when your back's up against the wall and it doesn't look very good and it's bleak, just remember this 1997 Philadelphia football team with heart, with guts, the greatest team in the history of Philadelphia. All time. You guys are legendary, okay? I bow in homage to you. <laughs> Villanova made history yet again in the following week by hosting their first NCAA playoff game. Their opponent, the Red Raiders of Colgate University. Again, this was a tight battle until the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, the Wildcats ran up 24 points to blow the game open. Quarterback Chris Bowden threw for 305 yards and rushed for two touchdowns. Freshman Brian Westbrook was outstanding, scoring three touchdowns. Westbrook caught a 38-yard touchdown pass from Bowden. He made a huge play by returning a kickoff 89 yards for a score. Westbrook also rushed for 104 yards and a touchdown. He finished the day with 271 all-purpose yards. Bowden found senior Brad Finneran six times for 107 yards. Josh Dolbin was again the go-to receiver. 
Dolman made spectacular catches to set up key Villanova touchdowns in the second half. Brad Finneran in motion. Brian's injured and on the bench and Bowden's the throw. Blitz coming. They pick it up. Down the middle. Open. Dolman's got the catch. And holds on at the three-yard line. What a terrific catch. What a catch by Dolman. He gets hammered. Chris McAvina led the Wildcat defense with 11 tackles. The Cats shut out their opponent once again in the fourth quarter. Junior Adam Turner added two interceptions to help the Cats' defensive cause. Amazingly, win number 12 was in the books. This win was most special for Coach Talley and his team. Another Wildcat first. The first playoff win ever for Villanova. 1997 was truly a record-shattering year for Villanova football. Scores of individual and team records were broken during the season. The Wildcat offense put up some astonishing numbers in 1997. The Cats offense averaged over 40 points a game, tops in the Atlantic 10. Villanova also led the A-10 conference in total offense, passing offense, passing efficiency, first downs, third down conversions, and fourth down conversions. One of the most telling offensive statistics posted by the Villanova offense in 1997 was their ability to score from the red zone. In the regular season, the Cats scored on 50 of their 52 attempts from inside their opponent's 20-yard line. 42 of the 50 scores were touchdowns. Although the Wildcats had one of the most potent offenses in the nation, they could not have had such success without their aggressive counterparts on defense. The 1997 Villanova defense finished second in the conference in turnover margin at plus nine. The Cats also collected over 50 sacks in 1997, placing them second in the Atlantic 10 Conference. In 1997, the Villanova defense rose to the occasion when it counted. The Cats shut out their opponents in the second half six times. Although Villanova's success in 1997 was truly a team effort, there were numerous individual accomplishments worth recognizing. The most unsung heroes of Villanova's successful offense were the members of the offensive line. Three Cats linemen, Senior George Freiberger, junior Mitch McCrimmon, and sophomore Ryan Knight were all named to Atlantic 10 All-Conference teams. Ryan Knight was also named to the All-ECAC first team. On defense, junior tackle Jason Tenner was named to the Atlantic 10 and ECAC first teams. Tenner ended the regular season with 13 sacks and 12 tackles for loss. Junior defensive end Chris McAvina received Atlantic 10 and ECAC honors. McAvina had nine regular season sacks and 18 quarterback hurries. Junior strong safety Shannon Riley won all Atlantic 10 and ECAC honors. Riley had 74 tackles and two fumble recoveries. And sophomore linebacker Sean Lyons received all conference recognition. Lions led the Wildcat defense with 92 tackles. Senior co-captain Derek Forgion was named to the GTE Academic All-America District team. Senior place kicker Mark Kiefer won all A-10 conference and all ECAC honors. Kiefer leaves Villanova as their all-time leading scorer. Senior tailback Curtis Sifford leaves Villanova as their third all-time leading rusher. Sifford finished his Wildcat career with over 2,100 rushing yards. Senior co-captain Josh Dolben was named to an A-10 all-conference team. The receiver from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, ends his Wildcat career third on the school's all-time reception list and fourth in all-time receiving yards. At the beginning of the 1997 season, Head coach Andy Talley chose sophomore Chris Bowden to take over the starting quarterback position. To say Bowden's 1997 performance exceeded expectations would be an understatement. Bowden now holds 11 school records, including most passing yards in a season.
Bowden was named to the Atlantic 10 and ECAC first teams. Chris Bowden also earned AP, Walter Camp, and Sports Network All-America honors. Rarely does a player come along like senior wide receiver Brian Finneran. Finneran leaves Villanova as the greatest receiver in school history. He holds 18 Wildcat records, including career receiving yardage, career receptions, and career touchdowns. In 1997, Brian Finneran earned the prestigious Walter Payton Award, which is given to the top offensive player in 1AA. He is the first receiver to ever win the award. Finneran was also named to the Associated Press, Sports Network, Walter Camp, and AFCA All-America teams. In addition, Brian Finneran was named the ECAC and Atlantic 10 Offensive Player of the Year. Brian Finneran now takes his place as one of the all-time Villanova football greats. Success starts at the top. The 97 Wildcats' success would not have taken place without the strong leadership of head coach Andy Talley. Coach Talley and his staff instill a pride and enthusiasm that continue to be a part of the Villanova football tradition. Talley, the winningest coach in Villanova history, earned the 1997 Eddie Robinson Award. That award is given to the 1AA National Coach of the Year. Andy Talley was also named the GTE AFCA National Coach of the Year and served as an assistant in the 1998 Hula Bowl in Hawaii. In addition, Talley was named the Atlantic 10 Conference Coach of the Year. Under the direction of Talley and his staff, Villanova will no doubt remain one of the nation's top programs. In 1997, the Villanova Wildcats reached new heights. The most wins in school history. An Atlantic 10 Conference Championship an NCAA playoff victory, the ECAC Team of the Year. They will be the benchmark for all future Wildcat teams. Their legacy of excellence will live forever. And their special bond, forged as teammates, will never be broken. The 1997 champion Villanova Wildcats, truly legendary.